So, Doc, <laughs> what keeps you motivated to be a doctor after almost 30 years of practice? Like, what keeps you motivated makes me want to share what I know with the world. Now, that's really corny. This has got to do a retake no, this on that. is perfect. So, um, actually, for me, the, the rate at which knowledge and information is growing and expanding keeps my work exciting. I wake up every day truly excited to see what new studies have been published and that's how I start my day. And then I scan the literature and pull the best ones and make blogs out of them. So I'm constantly being stimulated with new information. Secondly, it seems traditional medicine is getting more and more uh, pushed into a narrow little channel of this is standard of care, this is how we're supposed to practice, and it's all very pharmaceutical based. And the exciting part of medicine is sort of being off on the fringes, and that's where I like to be. So I do mainstream medicine, I'm an MD, but I like to pull in the important stuff from the fringes, and that's where really the, the real change is gonna come because the body is basically healthy until it's exposed to too many toxins or it's missing key nutrients. And this is a simple truth that most people lose. When you're given a prescription by a doctor, you don't have a deficiency of that prescription typically. That's treating symptoms that perhaps started decades ago when you were deficient in certain nutrients. So it's all about what you eat, taking in good nutrients, avoiding toxins, that's an oversimplification. It's very complicated, but that's what keeps my life interesting, being able to share what I know, what I'm learning, and if your doctor knows everything, get a new doctor, because the I can't keep up. I just can't keep up. It's amazing what's going on out there. Thanks for watching, I'm Dr. Paul.